And when I began learning the facts, I was every day more and more surprised. So I will tell you a few facts about these protocols. First of all, they usually say it's an anti-Semitic book. Of course, you can say it's anti-Semitic, but most of all, it's a political book. It is political, uh, and it is a subject on a major subject on the international political agenda. And it was used not only against Jews, also, of course, against Jews. It was used not only against Jews. It is used around the world. First of all, it was used by the Nazis. It was a major item, a major item in the Nazi propaganda. Hitler with Goebbels, we had conversations of Hitler and Goebbels, when they, they talked about it and how important it is to use the protocols. The Nazis started an information center to supply material to all the Nazi chapters that rose up, uh, uh, came up uh, in, uh, around the world. Everyone had a different, different name, but they were chapters, Nazi chapters. They were frontists in, in, uh, in Switzerland and gray shirts in South Africa. They had different names. But the Nazis started an information center in, in a town called Erfurt. And they supplied around the world Nazi propaganda. And among the most important things that they supplied everywhere were the protocols of the elders of Zion. I can tell you one thing that surprised me very much after I had written my book. One day, somebody knocked on my door and came in and said, I am Professor Wolfram Meyer zu Uptrup, a German, Wolfram Meyer zu Uptrup. He said, I'm sorry you didn't read my book or my thesis for my doctorate before you wrote, because I could give you more material. What is your book? What is your thesis? My thesis is how Hitler used the protocols on the way to the final solution. Some name, huh? How? Why, I said. I never knew. I knew Hitler used it. But how does it have to do with the final solution? And he said, listen, this is my theory. Hitler couldn't do himself the dirty work. He had to use tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands Germans. But he had to give them a, a message how to include how to get them to do his bidding. So his first message was that Jews were untermentioned. They were dirty, they were, they were dirty, they were like rats. And they contaminate the world. But he had a problem. Because the intelligentsia in Germany didn't believe that. They knew their neighbors, they knew the, compo the composers and the musicians and the professors and the Nobel Prize winners. And these are no, no rats. These are not intervention. So we had to have another motto. And this other motto was the protocols. Listen, the Jews are, Jews are dangerous. Read this book and you will see how they are going to take over the world. And because we want to establish a thousand-year Reich, which was his motto, it is either us or the Jews. And we must exterminate them, because it's not enough if we send them away from Germany. They have to be exterminated everywhere, because as long as they are here and they are strong, they will not let us get our goal. And this is the thesis of his doctorate in Germany of this Wolfram Meyer zu Uptrup. And in, before I tell you a little about the story, I want to say something else. The protocols that are now published around the world, by the way, 
The University of Tel Aviv has a research center, the Wiener Library for anti-Semitism. And they told me that in the 20th century, the protocols were established, were this, uh, this, uh, um, published around the world, some say more than the Bible. And they were published in the 20th century in Brazil in 200 editions. 200 editions in Brazil. That's what they, what they told me. So what do you do about something like that? How do you convince people that this is true? The most important thing about the editions of the protocols is the introductions. Every edition of the protocols includes a long introduction. And these introductions are even more dangerous than the protocols themselves. Because if you read the protocols, some people will not even have patience to, to finish them. I'll tell you in a minute what they are. But the introductions tell you, if you want to know if, the, if this is true, if the Jews plan to take over the world, read, see what is happening right now in your country. If there is a depression, read chapter 5. This is part of their plan. If there is a gold um, problem, read this and this. If there is a bomb somewhere, read chapter 8. Everything was planned by them. And this is what is happening in your country right now. And this is something so dangerous because the leaders of countries used it. They told their people, listen, it's not our fault, it's the Jews. They draw the strings. They have an international government, not here, maybe there are no Jews here, but the government is in Washington and they draw the strings from there. So these introductions, which are well written by local people, they are very, very dangerous.